the West Indies batting powered by skipper Shai Hope and Kiasi Kato helped the host nation defeat India to level the three-match ODI series 1-1. Now, this is also West Indies' first ever win over India since December 2019. Winning the toss and opting to field, the host restricted the brain-battered Indian innings to 181 in just 41 overs. And after the fall of the first wicket at 90 runs, the Indian batting order crumbled, adding just 91 runs to mount a final score. Shai Hope and Kiasi Carter then put on a 91-run partnership to power West Indies to a six-wicket victory. Joining me on the phone line is my colleague Gaurav Gupta. Gaurav, India was of course expected to win 3-0 uh, in this series, but the West Indies now putting up a fight and showing that the Caribbean fire is still alive despite missing out on a World Cup spot. Uh, you know, uh, uh, definitely West Indies' uh, surge needs to be appreciated. Uh, their fight back in this series where they've, you know, pretty much uh, their batting has looked hopeless uh, and their overall performance has looked uh, pretty much, uh, you know, average. Uh, it, it deserves to be appreciated, the fact that they've fought back and won this game. Uh, but but I think India deserves severe criticism for uh, experimenting way too much in this uh, match and, you know, or, or in this series in general. I mean, uh, I fail to understand why our uh, skipper Rohit Sharma uh, and former captain Virat Kohli there, if they are going to be, uh, you know, not batting in the first match, uh, all, you know, Virat didn't bat, uh, Rohit came to bat at number seven, and then the second game. Uh, both of them didn't uh, play only. Uh, so what was the point in picking them? And, you know, if this is what you had to do, then you were better off picking youngsters, uh, you know, instead. Uh, and and to do that uh, with uh, uh, when you're so close, uh, perilously close to the World Cup, uh, you know, is it, pretty dangerous. Uh, you know, this much of experimentation uh, is not, uh, I don't think it's uh, it's healthy uh, for the team, uh, considering that the World Cup is so close. Uh, but it, 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 you know, also reflects a lot, you know, uh, pretty much muddled thinking uh, that you're trying to suddenly sending uh, Sanju Samson at number three uh, and, uh, you know, uh, um, 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 and, and you didn't even give a chance to Rituraj Gaikwad, you know, whom you picked as a specialist opener uh, for the West Indies tour. You didn't give, it, didn't give him a chance in the test and now, now in the ODIs, you know, despite experimenting so much. Uh, so what sort of a message are you trying to give to him? Uh, overall, I think uh, too much of experience and, and, and the fact that uh, Surya Kumar Yadav is not coming good is of course a big worry, you know. He's a match-winning batsman in the T20s, but I think time is running out for him to prove uh, uh, prove himself at the, as a as an ODI. Absolutely, uh, you know, as, as a world beating batsman in ODIs as well. So, uh, plenty to ponder for yes. India, and I hope they come back full strength and uh, you know resolve to uh, you know uh, determined to win this series in the in the final game, third and final game.